Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing's going to get better. It's not by Dr. Seuss. Most of us are familiar with Dr. Seuss's The Lorax, but the world depicted by Dr. Seuss is not one of fiction. Sadly, it is a cautionary tale of the world we are creating today by deforestation. According to www.worldlife.org, forests around the world are under threat, jeopardizing these benefits. The threats manifest themselves into a form of deforestation and forest degradation. The main cause of deforestation is agriculture, or poorly planned infrastructure is emerging to be one of those big problems too. And the main cause of degradation is illegal logging. We are losing 18.7 million acres of forest annually, which is basically like 27 soccer fields uh, every minute. Today, I will be going over some some information about how bad deforestation is and how bad it's becoming. There are many problems that comes with deforestation, but today I'm going to go over three problems that caught my eye the most and what people should take into today. These problems are noise pollution, what deforestation is doing to wildlife, and then how bad deforestation is, or like how bad it's putting a toll on the world. According to www.worldenvironmentalpollutionscenters.org, noise pollution is generally defined as regular exposure to elevated sound levels that may lead to adverse effects in humans and other living organisms. They also had mentioned uh, noise pollution is, they're causing many diseases around the world. Some of these examples are uh, hypertension, hearing loss, child development, and physiological dysfunctions. Um, there's a lot of examples of noise pollution, uh, especially in the oceans. There's thousands of oil drills and sonars, seismic side, uh, survive devices, which are obviously making the ocean floors super loud. This affects a lot of wildlife in these said oceans, like um, whales and dolphins mostly. Uh, this changes their feeding habits, their reproductive patterns, and migration routes. And then when noise pollution comes to like land, uh, fireworks, and a lot of traffic, mostly in like New York or high traffic areas, they affect uh, birds and other land animals. Now that you know a little bit about noise pollution, let's go with what its deforestation is doing to wildlife. According to uh, www.nationalgeographic, 80% of Earth's land animals and plants live in the forest, and if D Deforestation threatens species including the orangutan and Sumatran tiger and many species of birds. Uh, deforestation is leading wild animals into like cities, villages, which causes a disturbance of peace to um, humans, which also leads to most of the animals being killed on the spot or getting like impounded uh, like a zoo. Deforestation is obviously a big problem around the world. It's causing a lot. When it comes to one of the bigger problems, uh, it's greenhouse gas emissions. According to www.cbo.gov, emissions of carbon dioxide, emissions of carbon dioxide and greenhouse gases concerns primarily from the conception of fossil fuels and from the destruction of degradation of forest lands caused mainly to expand agriculture activity in tropical developing countries. These accounts estimate 12% of all greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. 
Mature forests absorb CO2 from the atmosphere while growing. Uh, they store carbon in the woods, leaves, and soil. This carbon is released when people cut down trees. Uh, from 2000 to 2005, less of the forests, primarily in tropical developing countries, accounted for approximately 12% of all global GHG emissions. Around 72% of the total emitted greenhouse gases is carbon dioxide. This comes from mostly, uh, like, what is the word? Uh, smoke and stuff from big factories. Uh, today, I went over the main causes of deforestation and how bad it is around the world and how bad it's going to be in the future. Uh, I hope by this you guys understand that deforestation is becoming a way bigger problem than it needs to be. Uh, thank you.